Well, let me give you some examples of the Planck length. So it turns out that if you ask a question, how much information in bits is stored inside a black hole? <laughs> that would seem to have no... What's that got to do with all this? It turns out, in a calculation that was done by Jacob Bekenstein in the 1970s, it turns out that the entropy of a black hole, which is the amount of information hidden within it, is equal to the surface area of the event horizon of the black hole in square Planck lengths. That's an astonishing result. But just think about that for a moment. It's telling us that the, the amount of information stored in a region of space, in this case, a black hole, is equal to the surface area surrounding that region in square Planck lengths. That's a bizarre result. So it does seem that the Planck length is, is, is fundamentally important. The Planck length does seem to be, I would say is, a, a fundamental property of the universe.